And what is the value of hyperbaric oxygen therapy in COVID-induced lung damage? This is an open-label randomized controlled trial that's been done in Scandinavia. And they basically give people five sessions of hyperbaric oxygen therapy and see if it makes a difference or not. Now, this is where things get interesting because what you're looking at is just someone who wants to publish and show that they did something. Great, and they got published, they did show something. What they showed is that if you give hyperbaric oxygen therapy to these people, there's no better benefit. Why is that? Number one, these people all have major contraindications to receiving hyperbaric oxygen therapy. They have lung disease from COVID. They're already in bad condition in an ICU, and they're going to be taken out of the ICU, put into a chamber at 2.5 times the atmospheric pressure for a fixed amount of time, and then see if they get better. But you're isolating that person from care they need. You're not doing what's right, and we already know that lungs that are not functioning well should not be put into hyperbaric oxygen chambers. So they had to stop that trial early because they found that it wasn't helping people. But really, common sense should prevail here where you don't do stupid things for no reason or show that you can do stupid stuff and get published because it's really just foolish. This makes no sense, but yeah. Um, giving hyperbaric oxygen therapy to people with lung disease does not help them, whether it's COVID, ARDS, whatever else.